Rio TV, very informative and for the most up-to-date clips. Yeah, man, I want to say it's yours truly, DYC, I'm not the one and only champion dancehall dub poet, you know, from out of Kingston, Jamaica, representing for Rio TV. Boy, I'm going to try it with some boy, I'm going to try it, and 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 I'm Hi, welcome. So tonight we're out live in Pompano Beach in France, who is a Haitian descendant here living in the United States. And uh, we wanted to have a discussion based on what's happening in Haiti and how it's affecting persons who have relatives in that country. The thing is, a lot of people who are from the outside world and the outside community, they don't really know what's going on. And a lot of secrets are being held. And uh, we're here tonight to expose a little bit of what's going on that you can't see and you don't see on major news. So thank you for joining us and uh, we welcome Frank to the stage. Hi, my name is Simon Zuber. I'm in I've been living in the USA for 20 years. And I'll be back in the community, which is back home. And like, I, like I said, uh, we thank my name uh, who helped me to do this. So people doesn't know what's going on in the area right now. And it's crazy and everything. Yeah, 
Valleys. Yes. No school right now, no school, schools closed. And nobody in the street, the old school, the street is blocking. Everything is fucked up right now. It's because the baby, everything is messed up. And it, but how long do you say it's been going like that? Well, like, um, it's been for a while since after the president of Kia. Get worse. But now it's getting worse because they don't do it. Not everybody wants to buy this stuff to uh, get out of the country, get out of the power of the country. But it's not, they don't try to leave, so therefore they make it worse and worse every day. In your, in your own words or in your own opinion, because you're a Haitian, you were born there, you lived there pretty much your whole life, most of your life. What do you think? Do you think it would make things better as far as for the country, as far as for the country, as far as for the people? In my opinion, for the country to get better, we need to, uh, to change uh, our neighborhood. I mean, let's say we move in, in this country. They don't try to help. Let's say USA, Canada, French, do not help us out. Which is like, um, as, as right now, too many gang members, too many gone in my home, and all those gone from USA. Which is, they don't, they don't really sit down to talk to help us out. I mean, we have no country that ahead of us like we want things to be better. Things get worse and worse. We try to get out from the Prime Minister, from that one, we can see if we can create a group, of, um, a group so we can get the power of the country to try to get the election, so to see what, what, we can do, what we can do from the But for now, it's really crazy. And, and then, how, how often do they usually have election? Often, you're supposed to get an election every five years. Every five years. So, so you'd say an election is supposed to be anytime soon? For now, as the political party is going right now, no time soon. No time soon. No time soon. No time soon. Nothing is going according to plan, nothing is going according nothing to order. Is, no, nothing. We just hope if the Prime Minister leaves the power of the country, we have to, we have to make Make all those Asian in this government, make all those Asian or the politics to sit down and have a round so to talk to them in a better, better future. But right now, it's nothing going on. We don't know what's going to happen in the next few days, in the next month. We don't know. We, hope, we just got hope things get better. Right. And, and that's a worrisome thing for persons who know they really have family back home. And because you can help yourself so much, but when you have people who are living in that situation, they can't really, there's not much they can really the worst thing about now, the NBC is closed. Let's say you live here, you are a US citizen. If you try to get your people from Haiti, so if you've never traveled before and you've never been out of the United States, or if you've lived in Haiti your whole life and you've never been out of Haiti, it's a different scenario. You don't know what's going on. But for persons who have families and for persons who have friends and for persons who care in general for the world, I know you guys wondering what's going on in Haiti. Why you're not seeing it on major news? I wonder sometimes why. Can you? Do you happen to have any idea why that could be, friends? The, 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 main, the main thing is in Haiti right now we don't really have no leaders to take for our country. We don't really have nobody to take positive for our family, for our future. So which is like um, there's a lot of things. Even the people, the journalists, who been tell people what's going in the media, like tell the news they still work for some rich people, which is what's going on, really happening in Haiti right now. The rich guy, let's say the guy who have big business, who been in this country, they, they have the control everything. They control the Senate, they control the government, they control the people who give news, the journalists, they have control in everything. The true story never come out from Haiti. What you hear on TV, what you what see. what they want you to hear. They want, see. That's exactly they want you to hear. But the main problem is we don't have no leaders, so which means uh, people who doesn't live out in Haiti, they don't really know what's going on. Because um, the, the rich people, the, the oligarch, which is the people been at been Haiti since after Duvalier, which is the, they, they've been there since more than like 25 years, going 20, 20 years. They don't really help the country, they just try to get the family rich and leave the country, which is they got control on everybody. 
them oligarch people, they the one who may complot to kill the president because the president, uh, which is Moise, excuse me, tried to get the country going, tried to make the low class people live a better living. So that's how they, they pay money to kill kill them, which is like we don't really know for fact what's happening in Haiti because the, the news don't give you exactly what's happening. That's the main problem. We have no leaders. If you have somebody who vote for president, soon as you president, them only got them rich they guy. don't want him there they, they're working with you they give you millions and millions and they still got the control the most bad thing in Haiti happening right now they only got their control for the from the airport they only got their control from the dock which is the, the only one who can um, make things come back home which is Haiti is the only one who decide whatever they want to do that's the main problem we have no leaders right now um, for right now there's a lot of uh, the population know exactly what's going on right now. We have only one guy who fighting, tried to tell people what's going on, is the Moïse Jean Charles, which is he tried to inform the population what's going on. And he tell in the news exactly what's happening. For now, we have a lot of people go on the street, block the road, they know what's going on right now. But before, we never have a chance to, to, know. to know what's going on. But for now, a lot of people know what's going on. So we hope they hear our voice. But people who's in charge in Haiti right now, which is like um, we should um, have Loni. We should have Loni who's back, back home. We should call group back home mm -hmm. from USA. They're not, they not trying to help. They try to make things worse. That's the main problem we have right now. Yes. Well, as you hear, definitely it's just getting crazy and crazier. And uh, hopefully there can be a change so that the people who are suffering can really get some help and the people who need the help, the help can reach them. But if it is that you want to send food back home, if it is that you want to send money back home, what, why is it so difficult? Why is it that it's such a struggle to get it in the hands of who need it? Yeah, the, even you sending money right now, let's say if you're sending money f to the government to try to help the population, the poor people mm -hmm. who really got need, they're not going to get it. When you send the money, Whoever receiving the money is a group who is receiving the money to work for the government, mm -hmm. they will keep them for themselves. They will not help. So, yeah. it, it, so it's just no matter what, it's just always about them, not about the people. Not about the, 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 the people. It's always all about them. They just see our, they just see themselves. They don't see the population. They don't care how you live, which is we have no leaders at all. That's the main problem. Mm -hmm. And as instance, right now, I got my family back home. If I'm sending money to them, it's not easy for them to pick them pick up. It up. Because most of the bank are closed and the, the transfer, when you do a transfer, they've been closed most of the time. And top of it, if you send money to somebody right now, if they don't have to protect themselves, they might get killed. Trying to get it. Try to get the money. That's, that's how bad it is right now. People who knows about it, they know what I'm talking about. Every day is getting worse and worse. And so that no, makes it a struggle, struggle if people more. have to live three days before they can eat. Imagine, you're eating three times a day, and these are people who sometimes are eating two or three times a week. That's yep. it. It's, it's not easy. It's sometimes there are people who say they are like five, six days. They don't know when they're going to eat the good food. They don't. Mm. And I know for a fact what I'm saying right now. Asian know what I'm talking about. Whoever Asian who listen to me, mm -hmm. who has family back home, they know exactly what I'm saying. And it's a true story. It's not like a made story, it's a true story. People yeah. struggle to eat once every two, three days. A lot of people struggle to eat once every two, three days right now. That's how bad it is. So, um, all, all, all I can say, all Asians who don't live in Haiti, who live in USA, who live in Canada, who live wherever you live. In England you, and so on. You have to think twice for the people who live back home right now. Because the struggle, you get a lot of people dying by starving right now. All over the ten, the, 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 the ten departments. They're people, dying yeah. from starvation. They're also dying from the violence and all the craziness going on too. Yeah, they, no, for the guns violence is something you can't even explain. Because every every day more than 50, 60, 60 people die by guns violence every day. Especially at the capital, which is Port-au-Prince. Mm. It's, it's crazy all every day.
every day 40 50 people die every day by gun violence so do some people try to go to um what's the name of the country that's right next to haiti dominican republic dominican republic you can't even go there what's going on right now for any asian to go to dominican republics you have to get a visa from dominican republics back in the days the visa you just go across no you can't go across no more Back in this, you, the visa used to cost $50 mm -hmm. to get a visa to go to the Dominican Republic. Right now, you need $600, five to $600 to get a visa to go to the Dominican Republic. And even you have the visa, it's not easy to, for me to, to go there no more. Because right now, all those roads are blocked, the streets are blocking, gang members taking over all over the country. So it's almost like you have to pay the visa, you have to pay someone to get you across over there too and all that stuff. It, all that stuff. And it's not easy. It, it depends on how far you form the, the, the borders border. to go to the Dominican Republic. Because if you're coming far, you might get In killed. In order to get there. To get there, you might get killed journey. before you get there because there's too many gang members you have to go all through. over this. Yeah. Well, that, that's how bad it is right now. You hear it for yourself tonight. Friends, thank you for joining us. We definitely will share your story. And uh, people, now that you see what's going on and you know for yourself, if you have family in Haiti and you have people there that you really truly care for, make sure that you're checking on these people. Make sure that you're keeping in touch with them and do as much as you can for the people you love and the people you care for. So, as you hear it and you see what's going on, I'm going to have to turn it over to friends and have him lead us out to night like i said um i want to thanks guy thanks you guys for inviting me here to let people who doesn't go to Haiti, who doesn't know much about Haiti, what's going on right now it's getting worse and worse and i want everybody to pray for our country which is Haiti, is going to hell right now and people die every day like i said more than 50 people die by gang members every day and we have no leaders actually so Please keep us in our praise and we hope things get better. For right now, there's no living. People don't live in Haiti right now. People try to survive and nobody living in Haiti right now. So there is no hospital open, no gas for people to get around, no taxi, nothing. Even school, not even open. The school was to open since September. It's still not open yet. So keep us, keep Haiti in our praise. So maybe God might say another thing for us. Things might get better. Thank you so much, guys, for inviting me. My name is Franz Noel. I live in um, Papa No in USA. Thank you. Blessings. Yeah. All right, man. We out.